So you want to buy an investment property here on the coast. There's a couple things you should know before you head down to Wrightsville Beach. I have this conversation a lot where clients say, hey, I want an Airbnb down at the beach. Well, unfortunately, you can't get anything on the front of Wrightsville Beach, ocean front, for less than a million dollars. A lot of people starting out as investors don't have that million dollar price point. So one thing that I wanna mention, I love Wrightsville Beach. It's the closest to Raleigh, it's the closest to the Piedmont area, so the ease and accessibility of getting here right off of I-40 is why it is so popular. The only thing is, it's a tight little island, and with it being a tight little island, there's not enough room for everybody. So if you're looking for a property that has to be a beach property, there's two other places that I definitely recommend. The first one that I always go to is Carolina Beach. Now you'll hear, hear me say Carolina Beach and Curie Beach, they're kind of interchangeable, but they're two different places just tucked close together. With Carolina Beach, you can still get a lot for your money, but it's less populated than Wrightsville Beach, and so there's the more ability to be able to buy something at a price point that's more affordable. Now the other one that I wanna mention is Topsail Island. So the reason I say Topsail Island is because it has Topsail, North Topsail, and Surf City all encompassed on the island. One of the great things about Topsail Island is you get the biggest bang for your buck whenever it comes to a beachfront property. You can get beachfront properties in Topsail and rent them out and also use them for personal use. One thing to mention, Topsail Island used to seem pretty far out, but it's not that far anymore because as Wilmington has developed, it has heavily developed Hampstead, North Carolina. Hampstead now has medical, shopping, dining, lots of communities and schools, so you're not an hour away from something anymore. You're really, really close to a lot of the amenities that you need if you're looking for a beachfront property. Lastly, I do wanna mention downtown Wilmington. So hear me out, not everybody thinks about this because they're like, I wanna be on the beach. But one of the great things about a downtown property is that you can rent it year round. You will get some peak rental rates when you're in the summer, but I do wanna mention that whenever you're renting a property that's a beach property, some of the beach towns get a little sleepy and a little quiet over the winter time. Some of the restaurants shut down, some of the shopping shuts down. So with a downtown spot, people can walk downtown and have fun year round.